now. Ooh. One mile of 24 is done. Today we are trying one of the most difficult running challenges, running one mile each hour for 24 hours. So this challenge is defined as one of the most difficult challenges, even maybe more difficult than running a full marathon. Mile two, baby, let's go. You gotta do one mile and then you rest for like 50 minutes. And once you have that new hour clocked in, you gotta go out and do one more mile for 24 hours straight. So we have the same route that is equal to 1.6 and very near to my house. We do the one, we go back to the house, get some rest, then go out again. So our main goal is to finish the whole 24 hours. And also we have another goal. We want to have every mile under eight minutes. So we started this challenge at 12 o'clock. This was our second mile so yeah one o'clock now 18th of may i will see you in the next hour so it's two o'clock it started raining so we got the gopro out rain won't stop us definitely let's get our run temperature is just perfect for running not very hot not cold at all mile three is done here's our timing you can see mile four is done fastest mile i think for now let's go so 24 miles is actually 38.4 kilometers and a full marathon is 42 kilometers. What we will try to do also is when we finish the 24 miles, we'll add up like two, three more miles so we can end up with 42 kilometers in the same day. Mile five done. We knew that the miles will get difficult as we approach more and more hours, but I really wanted to test myself and to see if I can crush that goal too. Mile number six, I gave Mate a little bit of rest. He can take it a little bit. It's getting a little bit brighter. The sun will rise. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get a good one. Mile six done. Good time. Mile seven done. Legs are starting to feel a little bit more heavy. Our plan with the challenge was to start at midnight like we did because we wanted to be fresh in those hours where the body is used to sleep but because the body is used to sleep in these hours it was very difficult for me to run. Mile 8 was actually our last mile in my neighborhood. After this mile we went down to the gym and run circles around the gym. Mile 9 is finished. This was very painful. I don't know why and how. I have never felt this kind of pain. It was not even like pain. It was like burning sensation in my knee my left knee that has surgeries this mile oh my god i've never felt this kind of thing we'll see how it goes in the other miles i've still managed to put that eight minutes mile but unbelievable pain. it was time to get our first meal breakfast i wanted to get something that will freshen me up i got some oats and also with some fruit and some protein and after that i also had the tarragon to massage my muscles a little bit We'll start mile 10 now, a little low on energy, but mostly I'm concerned about the knee. We'll see how it goes. If not, we'll just not go after the time. We'll just want to complete the workout for the full 24 hours. Let's see. It hurts a lot. It's the same pain, but I'll try to push through. Hopefully nothing serious will come. Mile 10. Done. I started very slow because I had a lot of pain. But as, as I kept going, I was like, let's try to push to and finish in 7.59. So one second below the eight minute mile we want to have. Pain was really starting to hit me and I tried to do everything to reduce the pain, but. I'm on mile 11 and I honestly can't step on my leg. I just can't step on my leg. It's not muscle soreness, it's not fatigue, it's nothing. It's, this fucking joint problem, which is... Mile 11 is finished. I'm having a lot of pain in my knee. It's sometimes you gotta know what pain you can push through and what not. This is not the pain you wanna push through, I'm gonna be honest. Mile 12 is done. We are halfway there. Knee pain is honestly not getting worse, but it stays the same. I'm going through the pain, but... Mile 13 is finished. Uh, I kind of got used to the pain, honestly, and I'm running better for now. I'm also sparing my left leg. I'm just sliding it. We got better timing. I'm back to 7.40, uh, something like that, under eight minutes. So I'm happy, honestly. A bit more energy coming up. I'll get some carbs in me. And yeah, let's kill the rest of the challenge, baby. Let's go. Energetically, we are pretty good. My legs are also not very tired, but my knee, oh my God. You can see that my running technique had to change. We are at mile 15. I got some company. We got Coach Tanya here and Pero, my main man, Pero. It was really great to have some company because at these hours I was kind of feeling low on energy and with the knee pain and everything. So it was great to have Sanya and Pero a bit support me and push me because I had the best timing I think ever on this mile. 
just wrapped up mile 15. Somehow, I don't know how it was my fastest time, I think, probably because I had some colleagues with me like you saw. You have to visualize yourself how you're finishing a task, finishing a goal, and never give up. You really have to be in a different mode, get out the comfort zone, and really push yourself because you can do much more than you believe you can do. Trust me on this one. So we just finished our 16th mile. I took a quick shower just to freshen up a little bit. Got some orange. We'll probably also consume a gel electrolytes. And in two hours, we also have a surprise. We don't have like a little race. We won't give away some things, but we'll see. After the bath, I felt a little better. I also applied some cold water to my knees. So it was feeling a little bit better. Mile 17 done. She had a great time. She was right beside me. Seven more to go. You do this. Three of Oh. 18 down, six to go. And it was time for the second meal of the day, but I think I did a mistake here because I took some pasta. I was kind of feeling hungry. I was like, let's get everything, anything. It felt in my stomach later on, but we managed to pull through. So at six o'clock on mile 19, I was joined by a couple of followers, subscribers, and clients of mine to have a little race in one mile. And the first guy that will finish will have 30 euros. The first woman that will finish will also have 30 euros. And the second place will receive a Tibialis bar. We had some amazing runners. We also had the national champion in 800 meters. And as we were getting close, you can see he managed to get through them by a lot. Finishing just under five minutes. And now you can see the other competitors finishing. Amazing job by them too. Me and Scanty are far behind. Them young people are running towards the prices. Meanwhile, Scanty was my ride along for my 90 mile. So the race is finished. We have a champion. We also have a second place and the women's first place. Great job for her. What's your name? Tell me your name. David. 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 Good job, bro. Good job. You fast. Yeah, so let's get the prices and uh, I need to run more. So yeah. With five miles to go, I was definitely feeling much more fatigued and the whole body in general. Uh, we officially finished mile 20. We got four more to go. It's getting really difficult. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Everything hurts. My lower back now. Stress, fatigue. We'll see how it goes. Four more to go. Four miles to go. It's really windy. I'm getting kind of cold. Maybe I end up sick. We'll see. The last stretch. Easy. I think it was a bit better, even the timing. But I kind of feel better. I don't know how, but mile 21 done. Three more to go. Let's go. For the last couple of miles, one more problem occurred because we really wanted to sleep. We haven't slept for like 40 hours and sleep was also a big problem. And yeah, energy was low. Probably the last meal for tonight. Not the healthiest option. Not gonna lie, but I don't know. I'm craving for something like this. And I'm gonna treat myself for everything. So 23rd mile, we got Lando with us. Just for some company. Something that can bring up the energy. I was pushing through the pain mile by mile getting really close and i really didn't want to give up mile 23 is done good job i'm me and lando one more mile to go let's go it's the last mile of this challenge still with lando pretty tired and dead but let's do one more mile before this mile i did a mistake i fell asleep and it was very difficult to finish it mile 24 okay. And with that 24th mile, we officially close the challenge. And we can say that we completely destroyed the challenge. Amazing work, amazing support. Honestly, I didn't believe sometimes even through the pain that, that we had huge pain. I still have probably gonna be sore for a couple of days with my knee, not muscle soreness, but we'll see. Yeah, we never thought that we were gonna make it. So our goal was always to have sub minute eight miles. I think we did a great job with that. In total, we have 53 and uh, a half, I think, kilometers in the full day. So that's 10 kilometers more than a full marathon. And we haven't had any sleep. The watch also says that we have been standing for 24 hours. So that's absolutely crazy. Definitely the most difficult challenge I have done ever on this channel and in my life. And I'm not recommending for you to do this because it's definitely not healthy. You have no sleep and things like that. Not something I would recommend, like I said. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.